just this one. So this typewriter works, but with quirks. And um, so we're gonna show you that here in a second. So uh, let's start from the beginning. Back here is your paper holder. This is where you set your margins. Okay, if this is your first typewriter, keep a link to this video so you know how to use it. This is your carriage, which is where you're gonna have your paper go. Uh, 12 inch carriage, really handy for craft work. I mean, you can put in landscape paper, you can put it in a lot of different sizes of paper. Um, you can use cardstock, not just because it's 12 inch, but you can use cardstock in any typewriter. So this is just good um, for crafters. Now to move your carriage, there's black handles on either side. Doesn't matter which side you use, pull that in. You can hear the bell works and the bell tells you that you're getting to the end of your margins. Now I'm gonna bring these margins in and I'm gonna go ahead and load a paper um, as I'm telling you about the rest of the typewriter. So you set your paper right here and if you wanna be able to set your paper in the same place every time, then there's a paper guide right here just to kind of help you guide your paper in. Turn that handle bring the paper underneath this metal bar and back down and then i like to make sure it's nice and even and if it's not then right here's a lever on the right side just pull that forward and you can adjust your paper just make sure to re-engage it now on this side now this is an electric typewriter with a manual handle um, right here, this one, one and a half, two, that determines if you're gonna advance one line, one and a half lines or two lines when you hit that return handle. Okay, and then I'm gonna move the carriage over to the left, open up the top. Inside, you're gonna see your ribbon. This is a universal ribbon and you can find more ribbons on our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com. So when it's time to change it, you just lift it out and pop it in and make sure it's threaded properly through these guide wires. In the product listing, there is an up close image of this whole escapement area. Okay, when you get to the end of the spool, it's not the end of the ribbon because there's a lot of ink in that ribbon. So you just reverse the direction. Right here, it says rib rev. Um, our ribbons do not auto reverse, so you have to manually reverse and you just do it right there. And uh, you, you will reverse the ribbon direction many times before you need to change it out. Okay, down here is your tab. You set it, you clear it. Margin release, which I'll show you here in a second. This is your color selector, black, red for your ribbon. On off, and then we'll go over the rest here and right now. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna turn this on. Also, I put um, our non-slip pads underneath, especially on the electric typewriters. One, it dampens the sound, and two, keeps the typewriter from scooting around as you're typing. Now, you'll notice that this typewriter is a little bit noisy um, and a little bit clunky, and that's uh, part of the reasons that we've marked down the price is just because it's kind of, that's one of the quirks. It's just noisy. So this is gonna be what I recommend great for kids or if you just want a typewriter to dink around on um, I would say very light to casual typing on this um, kids will find it fun for crafts or for maybe school papers then this might work for them okay so this is a 1970s Smith Corona Electra 120 and it actually types really nice. It has a great feel to it. Now, um, I think there is one key. The number six, I believe, is sticky. And so um, you just kind of have to pop the key itself. Oops. Um, well, you have to kind of pop it back up. Let's go back and set a thing. So set. All right. There you go. So that's one of the quirks on here, this six key. And we and uh, Rob worked on that and he couldn't get it to pop back up. So you have to manually pull this key back up before you can type on it. Again. 
that's one of the quirks. Luckily, it's not a main letter. It's just a, one of the numbers and symbols. But the rest of it types really well. Let's do some sentences. And then let's do some red. There's that bell, so when you hear the bell, normally you just hit that return handle, but I'm gonna keep going to show you the margin release. Okay, so it's gonna stop on you. You just hit margin release. Finish your word. Okay, so there's three keys on this typewriter that have an auto repeat. The dash, the X, and the period. Also down here, you have um, half space, regular space, and power space. Uh, so this typewriter types very well. Um, the quirks include It's a bit, um, it's a bit noisy and the number six key six, okay? Otherwise, this is a great machine. Oh, and I misspelled that. Oh, backspace, by the way, backspace, if you make mistakes, use your backspace, type over it, or go to the next line. Just remember, backspace doesn't erase. But um, I'll have an up-close image of this so you can look at the font. And uh, like I said, noisy, the six key sticks, but otherwise it types very well. So this is gonna be a perfect budget typewriter, beginner typewriter for somebody because um, the rest of it operates beautifully. You're gonna enjoy it. But again, I would just use it for light to medium use, uh, just cause that noise can get annoying after an hour or two. And that six, if you need that symbol, could uh, be a problem for you. But otherwise it works great. Thanks so much for watching, have a great day.